What's up guys, it's Jay with Take Everything back again. A lot of people have been hitting me up asking me about my setup. So today we're gonna do a quick room tour. Okay, so up first we have my desk. This is just an old Ikea desk I've had for a while. You know, nothing simple. Just black with steel legs. It works, it gets the job done. For monitor, I have the Dell U3415W. It's a 34 inch ultra wide. I love it. It has increased my productivity and just general enjoyment of my computing tremendously. On the desk there, you see my computer. It's small and tiny. If you want to know what's actually in that little box, you can check out the build logs, one of two. I did two of them, with one with upgrades, but it's a little beast. Speakers are Definitive Technology Studio Monitor 350s. They're actually uh, discontinued now, but they're awesome speakers. I've had them for years. You can pick them up for really cheap if you want them as well. And they're on Sanus 34 inch Steel Series stands. These stands are awesome. I have them full with sand. If you're into audio at all, definitely check them out. Uh, for a good price, you can get a high quality stand. Now moving over to my little side desk here. I had a little shelf installed because I don't like clutter on my desk and I can keep the little knickknacks and stuff on the side here. I have my Surface Pro 3 right here. And I have my Logitech Harmony with my iPhone 6. Uh, controller I use for emulators and doing some games and stuff like that. Uh, the LED light box controller for my LEDs. I have behind my TV and my monitor. My Logitech travel mouse, the touch mouse, and a little USB stick. So that's what I keep there. Coming behind the monitor, you can see the LEDs. I have them set to white right now, but they are RGBW. So they do all sorts of crazy colors. My monitor sits on the Dell MSA 14 stand from Dell. It is adjustable, height adjustable, you know, tilt swivel, all that stuff. It does everything. It's definitely a cool stand. It's a little expensive, but it gets the job done. So coming down to the keyboard and mouse, I have the Logitech Illuminated Keyboard. This is my favorite keyboard. For whatever reason, I just keep coming back to it. Uh, I've had three of these, and I don't, for whatever reason, I just like it, and it works for me. I don't really do a ton of gaming, so it's pretty cool. For a mouse, I just have this crappy mouse that came in a computer that, sadly, to say I bought for my mom. <laughs> a crappy assless computer, or ASUS, however you like to pronounce it. So I really need to upgrade that. For a chair, I use a high back manager's chair. Got it from Office Depot a couple years back. I might be looking to upgrade to a DX Racer or something like that soon, but this is a really good chair for now. Coming over to the TV section, I have the Samsung UN50EH5300. It's a smart LED TV that I really like. 50 inches was about as big as I was gonna go for this room. Right under that, I have the Definitive Technology CLR2002. That is a beefy center channel that makes all the dialogue sound really good, and I really like that as well. To the left and the right, flanking it, I have the DevTech 2002 TLs, which are bipolar, so there's a speaker set in the front, a tweeter in the mid-range, and also in the back. And there's also a built-in 10-inch sub on the side, so that's why you see no sub here. I have two, one in each speaker. These speakers are definitely old now, but they are awesome, and I love them. I've had all my speakers for a while. Yes, I'm probably due for an upgrade, but I really like the way they sound, and they fit perfectly into my room. First up in my cabinet, I have the Harman Kardon HK3390 stereo receiver. That's what powers my computer speakers. So on the side there, you can't really see it right now. Well, let me go back there. On the side, there is a shit Mati USB DAC. So I have that plugged into the Harman Kardon and then the speaker cables routed to my speakers. And that's how I set that up. It works great and it keeps the receiver out of the way. Underneath, you will see a Panasonic DMP BD65, which is a Blu-ray player that I use. Yes, I still watch Blu-rays. I still buy Blu-ray. Uh, I just like collecting and I think it's awesome. I hate streaming and artifacts of any kind, so I still stick with Blu-ray. And under that, you have the Belkin power conditioner. Uh, it cuts off the power if, say, you have a power surge and it dips below the recommended volts for your equipment. I think the cutoff point is like 110 volts. It just cuts off completely. I've seen it do it a couple times and it can really save your, your components. It also is supposed to clean up the power a little bit. 
It's not the best power conditioner, but it's solid and it has a ton of ports. Now sliding over to the right, I have my Xbox One, just a standard Xbox One. And below that, the Marantz NR1405, which is a slimline 5.1 receiver. It sounds really good, it's got good power and it does all the modern codecs, Dolby HD, DTS Master Audio. So I really like it and it fits anywhere. That's, that's the really cool part about that. On the back wall I have two more Studio Monitor 350s along with a shelf where I have my movies, a lot of Blu-ray, uh, TV show box sets, and games all in one spot. These are just my most popular ones. I actually have about three or four more crates full of old DVDs. I probably have a thousand DVDs in the attic somewhere. I really just keep my Xbox controller and my old Dell Venue 8 Windows tablet just in case I need to browse something real quick and I don't have my Surface right there. Above that, I've got my wall art, my Iron Man, and my Batman movie posters. They're actually wood posters. I got these a long time ago, years ago. I have a bunch of them. Some of them are in storage. I'll bring them out eventually, but I got, them, I used, got these from Blockbuster years back. Yes, Blockbuster. Remember that? And I'm just hanging out. I chill on the couch, watch a little TV, play some Xbox, whatever I really feel like. It's a nice little break from sitting at the computer all day. Coming around back, you can see my Lemo Studio light boxes that I just got and my Sony tripod that I use. These are really awesome light boxes and they're really cheap. If anyone needs something like that, I would definitely check them out. Now you can see my table that I shoot my stuff on. It's my white table, all my new products and projects and stuff I keep right here. So that's my setup. Let me know what you think in the comments. Most of the items you saw here today I have linked in the description in case you need to check some of them out. You can also go to the website, techeverything.com, and see a write-up and more pictures and all that good stuff. So I'm Jay, this has been Tech Everything, and I will see you next time.